Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cryptoware and today this is going to be a short video where I'll just give you an idea of how a packed malware or malicious document and an unpacked malicious document look like. Basically, we have seen such documents, but we have not actually differentiated them while analyzing. So today I'll just give you an idea of how it looks like and what are some of the steps that you can follow while unpacking. But basically we are just following one tool. You can see that I'm following UPX, which is the very common uh, tool that is used for unpacking because if they're using a software for packing any malware, so most of the time it is UPX, but there are other available um, uh, UPX based tools, uh, sorry, other available packed packing tools or softwares too. But I'm going to give you just an example of UPX. And later on in my upcoming videos, somewhere we'll actually learn how to unpack a malicious software using debugger. So we are going to do that after a, after completing all the basics and intermediate steps. But before that, let us first get clear with the basics. So here, as you can see, I'm again using Remnux. This is very handy, free, open source. So I would actually suggest to use Remnux and I've already showed a video, I've uh, uploaded it as well, where you can learn how to install Remnux and how you can use different tools from Remnux to do some basic analysis from your end. So here I have two malicious files. And we are going to check some basic things and then we'll move ahead with that. So we'll follow again the similar things like using the file command and I'll just see what is there. What kind of file is it? Is it, it is an elf. So that is quite interesting. Elf is for Linux. So this is a malware which is very dangerous for your Linux machines. And I have to make sure that I'm not executing this in my Remnux because yeah, I'm using a Linux machine. And we'll check the other one as well, which is PE32 executable. So this is a Windows based. So another thing that we are going to check right now is using the strings command, we will see what all details we can see right now. So yes, we can see, and here it is also mentioned that it is it has been packed using UPX. So that is a very great hint, although we were already knowing. But while analyzing an unknown file, at that point of time also, it will be very helpful to you if you happen to see such kind of messages. And since it is packed, so we can see that there's nothing that we can see from here actually. Everything is gibberish and the details are not very clear what is present. Again, we'll follow the same steps to see what is present or what can we see from the other file. So here also it looks very gibberish. There are few details that we can get from here, like the usage of DLL, but these are some common DLL files that, that, are, that are very normally used by different uh, softwares by various programs, what I mean, virtual protect. So presence of virtual protect gi gives us an idea is that maybe it is trying to, you know, it needs virtual protect. There are a few APIs that a malicious software, a Windows based um, uh, soft, uh, sorry, Windows based files would need to unpack themselves. So virtual protect is one of them. So what happens is they need to create a space for themselves, uh, some memory for themselves so that they can unpack themselves into that memory space. And virtual protect is nothing, but it is supposed to give it some permission. Basically, the executable permission should be there. So I'm not giving too much detail, but yeah, that is the reason why it is used. There's get proc address, load library A. So these are some of them that we can see, but we cannot, but of course this is a malware. This is a malicious program. You can check those, uh, check this in virus total too. So of course they'll be using much more than these libraries and these APIs or these functions. So there has to be more. 
and which we are not able to see. Some of them, yes, we can see, but not everything that is needed for us to analyze. So as you can see, a lot of gibberish things are again available over here, but here also you can see that UPX is mentioned right now. So yes, it is also UPX packed. So most of the time when a malicious document is packed using UPX, it gets very helpful and it actually shows a lot of time. So while analyzing that, how is it packed? So we will simply try to unpack them and that would be it. And we'll see the contents after that. So the command that I use is UPX. It is already present in Remnux, so you do not have to download or install or perform any steps for that. I'll just run UPX and I'll show you that it is already present and how you can run it. You can follow these steps. So there are a few things like how you can compress. So you can create a UPX packed file too using this command. You can decompress, which we will be actually using. Then you can get more help. You can do hyphen H. Maybe we'll get to know a lot of things after that. Hyphen O is something that we'll be using again so that we can write the output to a file. So we will be using them. Again, hyphen H, I'll just show you what is the difference. Maybe is it is it <clears throat> showing the same details or something else? No. So it is showing us a lot of information. So you can easily follow these and perform anything, any any kind of command that you want using UPX. So we have a lot of options available. The best thing about using Linux is uh, either you can use man, the manual of the tools that are available, the commands that are av available, or hyphen H. Most of the times they have been made in that way. So let's start with uh, unpacking one of them. We'll unpack both of them, of course. So let's start one by one. So I'll be using UPX hyphen D hyphen O. Let us see the name of the file. Sorry. So we'll write the command hyphen D to decompress hyphen O to the output file. So as we remember, I think 3.6, this file was an ELF file. So we'll just write ELF unpacked or you can choose any file name that you want. And simply we'll write the name of the file that we want to unpack. And here we can see that it says that one file has been unpacked and it's in Linux or ARM format. Let's try with the another one, UPX hyphen D hyphen O. The name, let's let it be Windows win unpacked for now, and then write DE and the command and run the command. So here also it says that we have unpacked another file. So as you can see that the two unpacked files have been created and stored in the same um, in the same path where you were actually performing all these this unpacking. So let's run the strings command and just see how it looks like now. Can we see some more details? And yes, we can. Previously, we could not see a lot of strings. Of course, it will still be gibberish, not completely it won't be too much easier for us to read. But yes, we can see some of the processes, some of the things that it is trying. It is trying to get some CPU information. It is using this part dev slash null. It is using, it is trying to do something with the processor. Maybe it is trying to get some information. Let's go ahead. There's some gibberish. We can see there are a lot of things over here. There's an IP that we can see. Maybe it is the IP of the con command and control server. Or maybe it is using this file just to download something. Or maybe the IPs are same for the command and control server, which is having some kind of files. There's some other service that it is trying to run. Some It is trying to send some request. 
So there is an involvement of uh, an HTTP request that is being sent. And again, there is something in hex. It looks like that. And maybe we have to uh, check what is the convert this hex uh, format into ASCII so that it becomes readable for us. I'm not going to do that as of now. But this is what it is. And we can see some unwanted messages. So since they are hackers and they're performing all these things. So from here, we got to know a lot of details and it gives us an idea that unpacking gives us more details. Of course, we have to analyze it more and this is not it. And maybe in our later videos, we'll learn how to analyze statically an ELF uh, document, which is malicious. So maybe we'll be learning that later on. But yes, we did get to know how to unpack and how we can find a difference between how a packed software looks like and how an unpacked. Now it's time to see the see another file that was Windows based and we'll just check. And yes, it's still gibberish, but let's see if we can get some more details. Anything interesting like in the L file, we saw an IP that was very interesting here. Let's see, it's still gibberish, but it has more details as compared to what we saw previously. So yeah, exception, we did not see virtual protect right now because I don't think it needs that, but maybe we can have it later on. Some other functions which we did not see before and you can see a lot of functions which we are able to see. Yes, there is virtual alloc. They're using reg open key, get username. So maybe it is trying to enumerate users. It is trying to figure out how many users or who the current user is. It is trying to make some changes in the registry values. So even after knowing the certain details or small details about that particular API or the function, it becomes very, very easy for you to guess what it must be trying to do. Or else you can anytime Google and it's completely fine to not know, but figure out what is it trying to do. So it is creating some file. It is getting, it is using get windows directory. Maybe it is trying to enumerate the paths, the files, documents, etc. It is trying to create some processes as well. It is trying to load some resource. So we can see it is using a lot of um, it, it is using a lot of functions over here, basically APIs. It is writing some files. So it is creating a lot of things. So it gives us an idea that, yes, it is malicious, even if you do not check it on uh, virus total. But you can always check their hash. And I have already uh, mentioned in my previous videos how you can do that. You can check those videos out. And here, that's it. We understood how different it looks like when you unpack a malicious document. And of course, this is not it. Real world malware samples are not that easy to unpack. And most of them, majority of them are in fact packed. So we have to use some other method. We have to use debugger so that we can unpack them. And that will be a bit more advanced. And before getting into the advanced steps or process or advanced mal uh, malware analysis, we need to be very much clear with the basics and the intermediate part. So that's it for today. Maybe in the next video, we will be covering a uh, Linux based malicious document, how to perform static analysis on them. And we are already set with the Remnux Linux. So thank you so much. See you in the next video.